Hey y'all, my name is Elizabeth Overstreet and I am so excited to partner with Corn Date. I am a relationship coach and a love strategist and Corn Date is a really cool virtual dating service where you go on a date for 40 minutes and you decide if you wanna exit the date, stick with the date, and have another date. I think it's a kind of cool, informal way to date, if you ask me. That's a lot of the word date in that statement. But anyway, wouldn't it be great if you could have a wingman or a wing woman like myself who could like take your date and do a post-mortem? Well, that is exactly what I'm doing with Corn Date. And for this particular date with Natalie and Billy, I'm gonna tell you what I liked and what I think could have been better. Justin, well, you look very pretty tonight. Am I your date? <laughs> thanks. I no. Hi. Hi. I'm Billy. What's your name? I'm Natalie. I'm a personal trainer. At okay. the gym. We work in production, and um, I'm working from home technically right now. But I have a dog. Oh my god. Oh. My god. She's she's good. <laughs> but um, you're very pretty, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So I dance. I'm a dancer. Mm -hmm. uh, wait, you said you were a DJ. You used to DJ? Yeah, not like a club. I, I did like weddings and shit like that. So I feel like, like I should show you something. That's like, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> it was like, it was like DJing and like entertaining the kids and people. I was like up on the dance floor doing the cha-cha slide and okay, stuff, okay. you know? I could do the Cotton Eye Joe, you know, stuff like that. The Cupid Shuffle, I'm good at. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll teach you one day how to DJ. It's easy. Oh, okay. I could see you behind the turntables, I guess. Yeah. Not like that, though. Oh. We'll work on that, too. <laughs> I just stopped playing baseball last year. That's fun. Why'd you stop playing? Just because... I'm washed up. <laughs> no, but... I need to ask what your sign is. Do not answer that question. Do not answer that question. I will kick you out of this. Number one, I know we do want to know sometimes what some, some what someone's astrological sign is because sometimes it could give us some like intuition or sense of like who they are. But I think it's kind of cool to just get to know the person and kind of wait to ask that question because sometimes if you are very driven by astrological signs, you will hold that to your hold that close to the heart and if you had a bad experience with that astrological sign it could kind of dampen your interest in that particular date all right well i'm an aquarius oh any signs so it's like I'm a Virgo. Cool do we like align or whatever it means or what yeah it's it's not bad that's what i'll say what does everyone think of tiktok <laughs> that's such a random question <laughs> <laughs> I have one. Oh, and I've been bored in my house. I've been doing TikTok dances. Are they good? Will you follow me on TikTok? <laughs> I have to show you this TikTok I made. <laughs> I'm really curious what Justin's thinking right now. He's probably like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, I made a TikTok like, what, like a month ago? A month and a half ago? They're good. They're good dances. I made up a couple of dances. Maybe you gotta see the choreography. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. So Natalie, I need to follow you on TikTok. Yes. Um, I need to teach you how to DJ. Okay. You need to teach me some dance moves. And uh, how are we gonna talk after this? Instagram, TikTok, you can't really talk on TikTok, right? Sure, follow me on Instagram. It's Natalie B. Number two. I think sharing your social media information, you gotta be, you know, a little careful and guarded about that. It's only the first date. What if it doesn't work out? Now you got this person following you, you're gonna have to unfollow them or you're gonna have to block them and that's just extra work. So give it some time before you do those particular things of digging into astrological dates of their birthday and your birthday and seeing how compatible you are. It's just the first date and before you share your social media. And, you know, just remember, take it slow. It's the first date. You can keep it going or you can decide to exit. And that's the great thing about Corn Date. It's been fun, guys. I'll be back with some more Corn Dates. Until next time, XOXO, and hope this advice helps you.